With the release of Mountain Lion, Apple introduced a cool storage idea to the masses. They called it the Fusion Drive. This is still an option on Mac computers till this day, and I have been creating and using Fusion Drives since Apple introduced them. So I figured let's do a couple tests. During these tests, I'll attempt to answer this question. Does a Fusion Drive hurt performance? The test mule is this, a 2011 iMac. It has three SATA ports, so I'll be able to switch between a 256 gigabyte Samsung SSD and the Fusion Drive that I'll create using an 80 gig Intel SSD and pairing it to the original one terabyte 7200 RPM drive. I'll let the computer boot up a few times to start the caching process to the Intel SSD. This will ensure that almost all, if not all, the boot up files are on the Intel SSD. Then with the magic of video editing, we'll see what boots up faster. For the second test, we'll start up multiple programs and see which setup completes the process faster. Lastly, we'll end this video with a quick comparison showing how much faster the SSD can be than the Fusion Drive. Let the race begin. So there you have it. Did the Fusion Drive hurt performance? We could see performance gains when starting our programs, but is the added expense worth it? I personally on both my desktops have gone to Fusion Drives as the boot up drive. This setup serves my needs and I have never had any issues. I trust you learned something and enjoyed watching this video today.